hello guys it is great to see y'all again today is wednesday of course why did i forget the month june 23rd i'm i'm dumb <laughs> um welcome to the fourth podcast what i've sort of just said what i call it episode um for my channel so, the fun fact I decided to do this week is that I have two older siblings, well, I have two older siblings. Um, so I'm 16. Hi. Yeah, that's me. And then my older brother is 22, and then my brother and I's older half-sister is 28. So we're all about six years apart. Uh, it's, it's weird, especially because my sister's getting married soon, and I'm, like, in high school, it's a little, and she's also a high school teacher, which is, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so that's that fact. Uh, plenty of fun stories about my brother. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into everything because I do have quite a bit to talk about because I have an addiction to buying stuff. <laughs> so, with FOs, I mean, it's a, they're essentially finished. If you follow me on my Instagram which is crochet by Kendall with underscore underscores between the words. It'll be linked in the description as always. Uh, you would have already seen these, and if you want to get more, I won't say consistent, but more, like, up-to-date info, kind of, like, about what I'm doing, feel, please follow me there, since I'm only posting here about once a week. Uh, I'm more active there, assuming I'm not in a burnout phase, which I am not right now. So I'm pretty active there. So, ooh, dropping. The finished objects are my socks. Uh, they're pretty much finished. I just have to weave in the ends, but I'll do that eventually. I'll do that when I'm in a when I'm in a weave. When, when I'm in a end weaving in mood. So probably never, but they'll happen. Uh, they're super cute. I I love them. Sock knitting like. I never thought I would love it because, like, everything is so small and, like, it's not so, like, I, I personally, I don't know if anybody out there, I can't, like, whip these up in a day. Like, this took about a week and a half for this, but I love socks, so I will push through, and it's also fun, like, I have this thing where I could finish the leg at 3 a.m., but I will do the heel flap and turn that same day for some reason, or at least the heel flap. Some uh, For the second one, I didn't do the heel turn the same day, but I'll always do the heel flap. And it's just like, I love being able to <clears throat> kind of zone out while I'm knitting. And, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is not happy probably because I'm a little bit dehydrated. Um, it's It's so much fun. And like last night, I was knitting and like I was watching an eight minute YouTube video and it did like two rows and I was like I think I did three in that video and I was like wow like that like I don't really realize how fast I'm going and so I like look at the clock and I'm like oh it's been it's only been like 30 minutes and I have like five rows done which that's a drastic like it's more like I want to say eight rows in 30 minutes if I'm really trying and not on my phone but yeah it's very addicting I love it maybe because I have an unhealthy obsession with socks but hey there's worse things to be obsessed with just saying you know this is an obsession that does not hurt anybody socks never killed anybody to my knowledge they're doing good I mean I could be do I could be out doing what normal teenagers do over the summer but no I'm inside knitting. I'm staying out of trouble. And I'm throwing socks. Um, yeah. So that's what I finished. Uh, <sighs> yeah. We're just, the next, so now that's all I finished. I didn't do any work on that shirt. It'll get done eventually. Don't know when, but it will. Um, and so, the next, like the, the whip, I'm gonna show, well, my only lip right now. It's also a bit, it has to do with stuff I bought, so. If 
you guys were here last week, you s I told y'all that I actually got sent the wrong size needles. I got sent the one and a half, the size one and a half, which is 2.5 millimeters instead of the size one, which is 2.25 millimeters. So, had to order the new one. I ended up not returning the old one just because if I use yarn that's too thick again, because there's some yarn that, like, honestly, I don't care that's too thick. I will, I'll do what I did with these socks and just make them a size smaller. And those fit, like, they're, like, coming out to be the same size as the right medium. And so I just kind of want to have them because not a lot of stores carry fingering that yarn. And yes, I'm trying to, like, be good and smart, support small businesses, but... I like going into stores and like Joann's and Michael's and stuff like that and being able to like see it in person and like touch it and that kind of stuff. And so again, also if you're here last week, so the new thing I bought was the right size needles and that's him. And if you're here last week, I talked about the two yarns I bought. Well, woo, one of them is, they're both from, they were both from Knit Picks. This one was the Felice Animal. Sorry if my hand's a little shaky. I went to the gym and I haven't eaten. So, that's how it went. So that's the flu seat. I don't know if it's backwards or not for y'all, but. And it is, it's the, both of the yarns I got were bare because they were on sale. And I figured, hey, for my first couple goes in socks, I would much rather not waste a very beautiful dyed yarn and just kind of get into the swings of things with bare yarns. And so, I bought them. And this is 7525 Superwash Merino Wool in Nylon. Size one fingering, of course. <clears throat> and this is what I have done so far. I started this on Friday. It's not Wednesday. No, did I start it? I didn't start it on Friday. I'm dumb. I started it Sunday. Sunday night. And I only did about three like three or four rows of the cuff that day and then I finished the toe so I I'm gonna just say I started this on Monday so this is two days of work and I haven't worked on this at all today this is about two days of work um, I'm a little bit more by a little I mean two rows more <laughs> than halfway done with the leg of the sock these stitch markers are I don't know if you can see them but those stitch markers are ever well, they're, they're every 10 every 10 rows so there's three of them and then I did two extra rows just so that it wasn't like right on the top so I'm at 32 of 60 rows for this and so I'm hoping to finish the leg and most likely inevitably the heel flap today and like I got this yarn and I was kind of scared because I don't love the way the yarn feels like in the hank it's a little bit better now that it's like in the cake but I, I love how it feels once it's worked up so I'm very happy about that and then so that's the only whip and then the two things that I bought and then the third thing I bought was this other hank of yarn I have not found this one just because I don't want to lose it and because I've been storing it in the bag that it came in I don't have that because it has my address and stuff on it, so we're, it's good, it's over there. So this is, it's easier to store it in there, for now, until that pair of socks is done. But, um, this is the Eco Superwash and the Fingering Weight. Obviously bare again. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so burpy. It is... 70% Superwash Fine Highland Alpaca and 30% Nylon and it is so soft. Oh my god, I love it. Um, it, I just can't stop touching it. It feels so soft and I just can't, like, if it falls under the same logic as the fleecy and it gets, like, softer once it's worked up, this is going to, oh my god, this is going to feel so good. Um, and then... My, my little, I can't really, like, show you these here. My little tension rings came in. I used them a little bit on the sock. I used them on the ribbing, but because of the way I purled, 
oh, this didn't, it kind of made it weird, because I, I pearl weird, and I know I pearl, weird, pearl, uh, pearl weird, but it's just what's most comfortable for me, and so, yeah, so this one is a little peacock, oh, over here, this one's a little peacock, it's not gonna focus, come on, Okay, anyways, it's a peacock. I don't, I know you guys can't see it because it's focusing on my face, which I usually would appreciate. Um, and then this one is a little, it looks like a koi fish. Um, I might be wrong. I very well might be wrong. It's still only focusing on my face. Come on. But it's a fish. Y'all can see that. And then this one is also a peacock, but it's just like, it's not the same. It's. It's only like the one feather instead of like it sprayed out it was like splayed out if that makes sense um so yeah they're really great um I just I didn't use them at all for the leg because they just I kind of forgot about them which is bad but I will be using them more often um I just have to figure out how to get it so that it doesn't irritate my finger when the yarn is running through it and that was like the big problem but we'll figure it out there's there's a there's a solution somewhere now i don't know where the bag for these went uh, i'm hoping i'll just we'll throw them somewhere later um and so i actually bought more stuff because it's me and of course i'm gonna buy more stuff um so uh, it's more yarn. Surprise, surprise. It's from Knit Picks again. And it is... I got two of them <clears throat> during their sale. Which I don't know if it's still going on or not. But if it is... If it is or if it's not, I'll have it linked down below. To, to let you all see and stuff. So I got the hawthorn yeah that's my friends hawthorn kettle dye for both of them i got them in two colors i got them in poseidon and nymph and they're both blues and i i love blues blues are great um they're my favorite type it's like my favorite color is a type of blue and i just am always like drawn to blues and like the green like bluish greens mainly but like I have a very very high appreciation for blues I don't know why my room is pink don't want to be pink I want it to be gray but um yeah so I got the two blues they're they're beautiful Ugh, I love them they're so pretty um <laughs> and I think that's all I've bought uh since since last week I'll have some stuff coming in um but it's not stuff I bought it's stuff my mom bought so I'll talk about that next week just because it's not like place I mean it is because it's like for me but you know still <coughs> um that's yeah that's that's everything so uh, now there have been no new sales on my Etsy, which of course is always linked down below if y'all want to buy stuff. Um, although I'm hoping to eventually, like, may have some socks up there. Um, that's what I'm hoping to do. No promises. Um, oh, I forgot something. I mentioned this last week, but I did not this week. I used... The Crazy Sock Ladies Vanilla Sock Pattern for all of the socks. Uh, she'll be linked down below as well. And so things I want to make. I want to make all four pairs of these socks with the two that I have here. Those are like the two now I want to get done pretty soon. I'll be able to do it. I'm going on a trip for the 4th of July that takes five hours of driving. So I'm hoping I can get a good chunk of them done. I'm hoping to have this this pair done by then and I'll probably be working on this pair but I'll bring one or both of my new yarns uh, just in case I finish which I might not I might I don't know it depends on like how much time I have and like you know because if I'm like busy the whole time I'm not gonna be able to knit but if we're just kind of laying around I'll probably knit um so those are all of my future 
like going to do's. I promise I will eventually get that tank top done. Eventually. I do not know when, but she is going to get done, and I am determined about that. So, that is all for this episode. It's a little bit shorter. Um, it's going to be about 16, 17 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I am so excited. I, I love doing this. It's a great way to just get everything out uh, to people who want to see it, and I don't have to force my friends to watch this and listen to me rant and rave about yarn for 30 minutes but yes thank you all for watching i love y'all so much and i will see you guys next week please don't forget to like comment and subscribe still looking for a marvel american horror story or um motherland fort salem fans because season two came out yesterday and so i'm gonna watch the first episode and loki i have to watch loki I have to watch the third episode of Loki. But yeah, if any of you guys, if any of you guys are fans of either of those, any of those shows, please comment down below. I would love to geek out about it with y'all. Bye. I'll see you guys next week.